Hello, everyone. For those of you who don't know me or haven't had the pleasure of meeting, my name is Jonathan Adiano. And for those of you who already know me, my name is still Jonathan Adiano. Um, first of all, and foremost, I would like to thank all of you guys for taking the time and dedication to coming over here and listening to all of our speeches. It's a really long time, and I know it means a lot to us. Um, but first, uh, I want to tell you guys something. 1,331. That's the amount of days that I've passed ever since I started my tabula rasa here at the University of Arizona. Started fresh. Now, since that day, I lived the same routine, day by day. I would wake up two hours prior to my first class just to get to school. Then, as soon as I was done with class, with, as soon as I was done with my classes, I would just leave school because I didn't want to deal with it, and I would just go straight back home. I wouldn't deal with anything left in school. So. And for those three years and five months, I was nowhere near to live, neither living a college life nor to making my mark at the school for the purpose of helping others. But on the 1,249th day, which is not there. It's like a very five. So it's there. On the 1,249th day, I decided to leave school. day, everything changed. Fate had it in it for me that our very own Gabriel Mercado would be recruiting on that day, on that very moment, right outside the old engineering building, and that moment changed my life. And lucky for him, it took little to no effort to get me to get into, this, uh, into the club to go to the first meeting. But more than anything, I was glad that you didn't have to be Hispanic or an engineer to join. So coming to the first meeting on that following week, I was nervous and excited because, to be honest, it was hard for me to say that I really had friends at the U of A. Uh, friends are the ones I consider that you talk to outside of class. Friends are the ones you hang out with outside of class or at the very least, keep in touch with them after one semester is done. So no, frankly, I didn't have any friends. But I yearned for it so badly, and I was really lucky because SHIP was so welcoming to me that it made it that much easier for me to get really dedicated and start going into uh, events. And I knew because I was going to be surrounding myself with these kind of amazing people, I mean, really amazing people, that I'd be in the company of these amazing people. So from the scrimmage scavenger hunt events, to our recent spring fling, I'm pretty sure you can name the event and chances are that I was there. So now you've got to ask the question, Jonathan, why ALE? You know, that's a great question, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Call it coincidence, if you will, but it's really the first event that I really helped out with. So I started in the beginning of the semester and now I started helping out with ALE and YLF. So naturally there's going to be the sense of like attachment to ALE and YLF as opposed to everything else. But it wasn't until I realized what the other events were that I really knew how passionate I was going to be towards ALE and YLF because I love working with kids, changing minds for their future. And, uh, but John, you know what, that's such a quintessential question that I'm going to give you a high five. <laughs> <laughs> Given that I'm an applied math major, the only direct correlation that I have to ALE is being Latino. Nonetheless, that's the point that I want to stress out. Just because it isn't that the acronyms within ALE that defines a good leader, it doesn't call for a good leader. It's, it's that I can tell you with the utmost confidence that I will strive to make the, the joint ALE YLF just as great, if not better than this year's with any luck at all. Above all, I'd be more than grateful to lead such an influential event for the potential incoming freshmen and to hopefully change the minds of students <laughs> working in STEM fields. So what exactly could I get do different, or what exactly could I add to this position, to the club? So even though one school opted out of the event, um, I was really impressed by Gabby and Rafa because they both did an amazing job in sustaining the balance of the overall event as if they weren't even faced by it. So they really like pushed through. There wasn't really much I could change more because I really looked forward to it, but this is where the important part began. Because even though you set up because even though you set up, <laughs> even though you set up all the time and all the effort, you still have to push even more effort until those last few hours that you're given to hold, hold and host the event. So I would only aspire to get the high school students and volunteers to get to know each other more. Of course, the workshops lay the foundation for changing minds and hearts. But more than anything, the high school students must feel the importance and of learning and knowing that college students have their fair share of flaws lets them know that anything is possible. I really, got, really look up to the teamwork and coordination between Gabby and Rafa from this year's event that I only hope to have the same effect for future eboard nominees in the following year. So one last time, please consider how much I have to offer this position and to this club. Because no matter what I give to SHIP, it will never come close to what SHIP has given to me. And I don't want to waste another 108,345,600 seconds that I've, <laughs> that I've already wasted not doing something big for the better of others. It's amazing on its own that just 78 days of those 1,331 days of being with SHIP have truly changed my life. 
and now I want to do that for others. Help me make the difference. And the beauty of it all in SHIP is that you do things not because you have to, but because you sincerely feel like you want to. Thank you once again to vote for me, Jonathan Nadia, for